Hi, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president and founder of the Startup Station. And I'm going to tell you more about our flagship finance series, Impress Investors with Your Thorough Financials and Credibly Value Your Company. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more um, how you can impress investors with Thorough Financials and Credibly Value Your Company and why it's so hard to do. Let's talk about first where finance matters. In a recent HBR study, 141 Harvard Business School alumni founders rated the importance of 10 skills in starting a company. And what was very upsetting to me was that finance received the second lowest priority score. And many founders thought that it's not hard to figure out, you can just hire somebody to do it without understanding that this person who you're going to hire will give you key information in running your company. So here's five reasons why we disagree with the statement that finance doesn't matter. Reason number one, you need to be able to prove to investors if you fundraise that your company is investment worthy. Fundraising can be brutally difficult. Only 3% of all ventures launched every year receive professional capital. And so to convince investors to invest in your venture, you need to be able to explain why your business is a good investment from the financial point of view. Reason number two, you want to get a fair deal from investors. And so if you don't have good financials backing up your business plan, if you don't know how to credibly determine your valuation and how to defend, it's very hard for you to get a fair deal. And this of course has very serious ramifications in the future for your company. Reason number three, a bad term sheet can cost you your company. If you don't understand how to evaluate term sheets and you agree to something that you shouldn't have, you may jeopardize your company's future and may not be able to raise additional rounds of financing. Whenever you get your first um, offer from investors, it's very exciting. And you're hoping that you have a good lawyer. However, there are some terms in your term sheet which are finance driven, not legally driven. And it's important for you to understand what it is you agree to, not just from the legal point of view, but from the financial point of view as well. Reason number four, financial information gives key business intelligence to succeed. It is a fact that 95% of all startups fail. And so in order to outperform, you need to understand the key drivers of your business. You need to be able to link the strategic decisions to the financial implications of those decisions so that you can respond positive to market feedback, so that you can properly fine tune your strategy. And finally, reason five, cash is king, right? You need to understand how you use your cash. You need to understand how it's different from income. Not considering all sources and uses of your cash will lead to liquidity issues that your business may not recover from. Our solution to help you is the flagship finance series, Impress Investors with Thorough Financials and Credibly Value Your Company. You don't need to know any finance to take it. What are you going to learn? You're going to learn accounting and financial analysis, which is basically how to make sense of numbers. This will include key accounting concepts, the structure and purposes of main financial statements, and which metrics matter for your business. You're going to learn financial model, which explains how to convert your vision into numbers. We're going to discuss how to create assumptions and model your venture, even if you have little or no historical financial data. And it's going to be business model specific. You're going to learn valuation, which will allow you to credibly value your company and defend your valuation to investors. We're going to cover key valuation concepts such as RERR and WAC and eight ways describing how to value your company, even pre-revenue. And finally, we're going to teach you fundraising strategy, specifically investor search, investor vehicles, investor documents. You're going to be able to understand how to look for investors, which investor is right for you, how to evaluate the term sheet and negotiate with investors, how to select between different vehicles, and what red flags to watch out for. To learn more about uh, the course, please scroll below. We have a lot of information on our page. 
about what is included, how long it takes, the materials we provide. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us by email. We will be more than happy to help you. And I look forward to seeing you inside the course.